one word. A wave and a thumbs up from the foreign affairs minister before heading off to Washington. Here in the U.S. Capitol, delegations from all three NAFTA countries are meeting for high-level political meetings instead of a formal round of negotiations. We're working very hard on NAFTA with Mexico and Canada. And, you know, we'll have something, I think, fairly soon. For the first time in a long time, it seems the U.S. president is on the same page as Canada and Mexico when it comes to NAFTA. I believe uh, we're in a moment where we're, uh, we're moving forward in a significant way. Not only is the prime minister upbeat, one of his cabinet ministers says Canada is open to signing an agreement in principle. If it's acceptable from our point of view, uh, then that is something that could be a possibility. An agreement in principle would likely be more symbolic than substantive. For the Canadians who helped land the first ever free trade agreement with the U.S., these developments feel familiar. I would remind you that the original FTA began with a celebration of a term sheet, which was not longer than two pages, whereas the actual agreement covered a couple of hundred pages. So Derek Burney a says a symbolic agreement in the short term bodes well done. for the talks in want. the long run. So there are a lot of question marks still out there. But if there's momentum on one of the major issues, that in itself is good. And I think we should be encouraging our team to stick to their guns and see it through. The meeting will take place here at the U.S. Trade Representative's office tomorrow and could last all day. The Americans have been pushing for some kind of agreement before the leaders of all three NAFTA countries meet at the Summit of the Americas next week. Even then, if successful, the process isn't over. Negotiators will still be left to sort out the details. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington. President Trump once called NAFTA the worst trade deal ever signed by the United States. So what have the parties done to make it better and what's still left to get done? Here's a brief look at where things stand. We will need agreement on roughly 30 chapters. So far, after seven months, we have completed uh, just six. The six chapters agreed to aren't the controversial issues, but will still have a big impact on Canadians. A new section of the revised NAFTA will encourage small and medium-sized Canadian businesses to trade across North America. That 21st century reality, that international trade is something that small and medium-sized and micro-enterprises do. Decisions on food safety standards and border inspections will now be science-based, something likely to help Canada's agriculture sector. I think that is one of those areas where NAFTA was really ripe for modernization and there was a lot of, of like-minded uh, approach to how that should be done. But what about the more than 20 remaining chapters, including parts of the auto sector agreement, a so-called sunset clause allowing NAFTA to be renegotiated every five years, more open bidding for U.S. government contracts and a dispute settlement mechanism, a 24-year-old deal that everyone agrees needs improvement, but no one expected to have to negotiate in mere months.